In this video, we'll cover what sequential function charts are and how to use them in OpenPLC. First, I will briefly explain the sequential function chart. Then we will explain further by a practical example, a traffic light. So let's get started. These are the three basic parts of an SFC. Steps, actions and transitions. Steps will trigger certain actions. Actions are connected to a step and will change variables in your program. You can connect multiple actions to a step. The transitions are linked by conditions to get from one step to the other. To understand the basic steps better, we will create a new OpenPLC project and we will program a PLC traffic light. After creating a new project, we will select SFC to program our POU. Every SFC needs an initial step. You can find this step here. You click on it and click in your workspace to add it to the main program. A pop-up will appear. In this case of a traffic light, we will add an action to the initial step, so we will check this on. The initial step is a step that will be active after a cold startup of the PLC. In our example, we will just use one traffic light. So we have as outputs, red, orange, and green. First, we add these variables to our PLC program. We will later download this program to an Arduino Uno. So I will use this IO definition. Now we will add an action to the initial step. This will activate the red light. We will do this by selecting the action symbol in the toolbar and clicking in the work area. We will get this new pop-up and press on the plus button to add an action. First, we have to choose a qualifier. You have many qualifiers, but the most intuitive and mostly used is the end qualifier. The N stands for normal non-stored. This qualifier means it will set the variable you assign to the qualifier on true in each cycle the step is active. So in this case, if step 0 is active, the red light will be true. So we set the type to variable and in the value field we select red light. Now we can connect this action to step 0. Now we insert the next step and the next action to turn on the green light. We create a new step with a normal action to turn on the variable green light as long as step one is active. Now we need a transition to go from step zero to step one. So we add a transition. We select connection because we will link this with some logical conditions. We connect transitions from step 0 to step 1. Now we'll add some logic. We want to use a timer so that 6 seconds after the red light is turned on, the green light will turn on. The most visible and intuitive way to do this, in my opinion, is to use a ton timer in the transition statement. To set the time of the ton statement, you add a variable with a statement. To start the timer, we could use the red light statement, or even more clean is to create a variable for this specific task. So we'll add a variable step 0 and create a new normal action in step 0. When the PLC starts, it will start in step 0. And the red light will be active and also the variable step 0 will be true. The ton timer will start. After 6 seconds the transition will be true and step 0 will deactivate and step 1 becomes true. Now we create a new step of our simple traffic light. We add a new step with a normal action to turn on the variable orange light. We add a condition and we will use the same method as we did for the transition from step 0 to step 1. We create a variable step 1 
and add it to the actions of step one and to the input of the ton timer. After we are in step two, the orange light will now be on. Now we want to go back to step zero to turn on the red light and do it all over again. We will use a transition and a jump to accomplish this. The conditions to change from the orange light to the red light are the same as we used before. The only difference is that we will change the time from 6 seconds to 3 seconds, like in real life. Now we can check our logic in the simulation. When trying to simulate, I get a compile error saying that step 0 is not a good name for a, vari for a variable. I think it is because the step is called step 0 and the variable we make active in step 0 is also step 0 that this is the problem. So I change the name of my variable to step underscore zero, step underscore one and step underscore two. This seems to be the problem because after changing this, the simulation starts running and I get no compile errors. So also do this in your project before simulating. As you can see, the code works like intended. We will stop the simulation and add a small addition to our traffic light by adding a push button for pedestrians. So the transitions from the green to the orange light is instantaneous. We will have to add this push button as a variable and we will change the logic for the transition from step 2 to step 3. We will use an OR gate to do this. Now we will simulate the code again and I will force the value of the push button. You now see in the transition from step 2 to step 3 is always true. You can also see that if the push button would get stuck on the on state by either failing or vandalism the green light would not be turned on. It's a good practice to use a rising edge trigger to counter this. We will do this. And now the transition will only be true if the timer is passed or the push button state changes from false to true. Now we stop the simulation and transfer the code to the Arduino Uno. I'm at the moment using the beta version and I will put the link in the description where you can find the beta version of OpenPLC to download this. If the version comes officially, I will also put it in the description below. I already made a video on my channel on how to upload code to the Arduino Uno and I also used a traffic light as an example, but I used the PLC language FPD to do this. You can check that video out if you want to. In the next video, we will dive deeper in SFCs and a practical use case for the basic assembler in Factory IO that you can see in this video and how to solve it. If you don't want to miss that video, you can subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video please give a like and you can also check other tutorials i made about open plc on my youtube channel